beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for joining me here. Let's find out what your angel numbers are. What the universe is trying to let Capricorn know. Capricorn energy. Thank you guys so very much for coming here and joining me. 13, you are a conscientious worker with an act for coming up. <clears throat> My throat chakra has been acting up. There's so a lot of smoke in the air, guys. For coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined on and on track as you work steadily toward your goals. I am confident. I am powerful, 333. Three, three. You're being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity leave your truths and be a positive light to others. I am a visionary, 12. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in a unique way that others can benefit from. I am generous, 24. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You're loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector and provider all at once. I am disciplined, 31. Your approach to life is an effective miss, mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have organizational skills to manifest them to life. These could be your birth dates as well. You're very disciplined. Seven, seven, I am brave. It is time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. 25, I am intelligent. You have great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an, immer an immense awareness of the world. So many of you are called on to be light workers. Capricorn, be true to yourself. Capricorn, retreat. Engage for a higher reason. Do something different. Forgive and forget. Face your shadow. Face your fears. Ask with sincerity. What is it you truly want? Face your adversities. Face your fears. Change patterns. Change your view of what you believe to be of yourself or others. Forgive and forget. Inner truths, bountiful harvest, make a decision, you could be making a decision about a new adventure, you have an adventurous spirit, so just catch your breath and keep your dreams alive, make a wish.
Capricorn. Yeah, could be in music. Capricorn. First card out, Twin Flame. <laughs> you don't have to do or be anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. They want to remove the mask that they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. Divine Blueprint. They're going within to discover their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life in this connection. Toxicities. Their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Could be fear of the unknown. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but fear being wrong. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them you are too perfect to believe it's true. At last, they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because in the end it'll all be worth it. This is a power couple. They see that you both have an equal exchange of power which can make you an unstoppable couple. But they there's betrayal here they betrayed you lustful desires and now they are watching you they've been watching your social media to see you what you post and get clues to how to approach you each day gets harder and harder to resist you but they know in what they know in their heart to be true they see you as their forbidden fruit <laughs> on a pedestal you're the queen or king of their heart the queen of their fiercely guarded castle it's only fear that makes them run they want to message you and explain everything to you but they know they got to do right by you you are the mysterious one <laughs> the mystery of you intrigues them they keep keeps them guessing and engaged you're very different from the rest you've set their heart on fire in the soul it's ever burning and unquenchable it's a natural and undeniable connection well that would be capricorn very passionate very seductive very tempting and very mysterious different from the rest Two of Winter. Indecision is holding you back or them back. Make a choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Unity. Do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. You might want to seek out a spiritually minded community. The sun. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. Plan your next step with an eye on the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a, well, a job well done. News we're celebrating. Announcements. <clears throat> Such as weddings, graduations, births, and friends you cherish. Capricorn, please. 
face your fears, face your adversities. It's time to forgive, to forget. It's looking like you're moving on. This is making a wish. Somebody was jealous. Hmm. This is indecision. Somebody's, oh well, someone's fleeting art. Someone's a cheater at heart. This is karma. Indecision. Somebody didn't want to face their challenges or face their fears or face change. Too scared. Scared of change. Scared of, I don't know, maybe you're spiritual. <laughs> maybe they're scared of your spirituality. I don't know. Hmm. New day dawning. This is a warrior. A spiritual warrior. King of Pentacles. Oh. What's this? So this is love. This person is still watching you. This person is watching you. There's an ending here. So somebody is creating chaos and it is their friends who are creating this chaos. That is the truth. There is some kind of confusion. Somebody is thinking Oh my God, this is karma. They gotta face their truth, face their shadow, face the adversities, face their fears. Maybe this person had has a fear of change. You are their soulmate, there's no question about it holding on to some low vibrational energy or they're trying to block face their shadow afraid to face their fears fear of change fear of adversity fear of this fear of that what the hell so People at work. So made some kind of logical decision. Instead of following their heart, they followed logic. The logical answer. The logical. It's the company they're keeping here. What is going on? Oh my God, this is an emperor. Maybe they're traditional. Maybe they've been raised traditionally. Maybe your spirituality has scared them. Well, This is betrayal. They betrayed you. Or maybe their friends told them that you will betray them in the end. You will betray them. 
get out of there, use your common sense. They're going to end up betraying you in the end when all this person did is love them. <laughs> so I think you're loving yourself. It's friends telling this person in the end they're going to betray you. High honor, high respect. Look, you're single, you're abundant, you're stable. But it's the company of this person telling them, look, they're going to betray you. They're going to betray you in the end. Hmm. Yeah. These friends. Manipulating. You're a fool if you commit. You're a fool if you... But you're everything that they wished for and prayed for. <laughs> what the heck? This is a power couple. I don't get it. This could be King of Wands. Wishing for their Queen of Wands. You're everything that they ever wished for, everything that they had ever dreamt about, everything they ever wanted in a person. Why did this person have to listen to their friends who are obviously influencing their decisions? Oh, don't go with them because they're going to betray you in the end. They're, um, you know, maybe you were married before, maybe you've been married and things didn't work out. So all their friends jump ship, you know, telling this person they're going to betray you. Don't think for a sec that they won't. They will. They worked on this connection until they broke the two of you up. Yep. Maybe it's their fear of rejection. Maybe they rejected you before you could reject them. But this person had no intention. This feminine here or this masculine. So they could have married someone else. Instead of the empress. They loved you. They were happy with you. Look, the two of you loved one another. I don't get it. Just passion here. Opportunity, fresh start, opportunity, but they're afraid. Their fears, fear of rejection, fear of what their friends say, fear, fear, fear. This person just operated out of fear. Fear controlled them. Maybe family did. Their family could have been afraid. Oh, they just want money or their family may not have approved. What's going on here? It's a burden. They shouldn't have trusted these people. 
They should have defended the connection. Instead, they pushed you away. They pushed you away because fear. Fear of what people would say. Fear of what their friends were saying. Fear of what their family would be saying. Maybe someone's traditional. Maybe you're spiritual. That sucks. They're being told, face your adversities. Face your fears. This is news we're celebrating. Friends you cherish. Who's more important? I don't get what this person did. They pushed you away. When there was clearly every reason under the sun to be celebrating. See, this is one of their fears. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't just let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. That's one of their challenges. Because until then, if they do not control that lustful desire, it will, they will betray you. a difference between love and lust and their lust control them So one of two things, if your person is dealing with this spirit of loss, they will betray you in the end. Say, unless they can overcome it. only time will tell. In the meantime, you're moving on. Keep your dreams alive. Make a decision. Inner truths. Believe only yourself in your situation. Only you know the truth. Your friends don't know the truth. Your family doesn't know the truth. Only you know the truth. It's part of awakening. Awakening to a new way of being. Awakening to inner truth. Being honest with oneself. They can't be honest with themselves. They will never be honest to you. Let's 
it's a decision between lust or love. Just know there is a bountiful harvest here, new adventure. Facing your fears and doing what is good for you and what is right for you. Take care, Capricorn.